welcome back. Now, I hope you've had a lovely week. I thought this week we could learn about a man called Joseph. Now, he's got three parts to his story. So, let's start off with part one. Let's get comfy in those seats and let's learn about Joseph, part one. So this week's story is called Joseph and his coat of many colours. Jacob had 12 sons, but the youngest, his name was Joseph, was the one he loved best. Jacob gave Joseph a very special coat. It was unusual, not only because it was woven in many different colours, but because it long sleeves. His older brothers were jealous because they hadn't been given special presents, so they hated Joseph even more. Joseph worked as a shepherd with his brothers and whenever they did anything wrong, he went home and told his father about it. This tale telling made them hate Joseph even more. Then Joseph started having dreams and was eager to tell his brothers about them. Last night I dreamt that we were all tying up sheaves of wheat when my sheaf stood up straight in the field and all your sheaves bowed down to mine. Do you really think you're going to rule over us like that? They asked, hating Joseph still more. I've had another dream, he said. A few days later, I dreamt that the sun, moon and eleven stars bowed down to me. His brothers got very angry and even his father was crossed about his boasting. Do you really think that your mother and I and all your brothers are going to bow down to you, he said. But once he'd calmed down, he thought about Joseph's strange dreams. He wondered if God had somehow chosen Joseph to be a leader, even though he was the youngest son. Perhaps the dreams would come true after all. Well, Joseph's story is really interesting and that he gets strange dreams. And I wonder if those dreams are going to mean something in the next part of the story. So we'll need to wait till next week to find out. But for now, let's go and do our craft. Okay, so this week we're going to draw Joseph's jacket. I'm going to take a piece of paper and fold it long ways to the middle. And this is going to be the neck of our jacket. Hole in the middle, and I'll show you something special what we're going to do with it next. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a doll, any doll, any size you've got, but just make sure the hole of your poncho is big enough to fit over his head. So we'll take that just now and we'll fold it over. And there we have Joseph and his Technicolor dream coat. Now I've had really a lot of fun making this craft and I hope you do too. Maybe you could do one for all of your dolls and have them all in different colours. That would be very cool. Have a lovely week and I'll see you all next week. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.